do a bit of like a chat a bit of a life update a bit of a blah 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 because that's what I can do today <laughs> I haven't been making that many videos lately and just let's just talk about it let's just talk about it January has been such a rough month so rough it has been rough beginning of the month my husband got COVID and then after that my son got COVID I have been COVID free somehow all this month. However, I have not been vertigo free at all. In fact, I have pretty terrible vertigo right now, today and yesterday and the day before, and it's just been so bad. It most definitely has to do with the weather. It's just so bad. Ugh, 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 ugh. I went thrift shopping the other day and I had a little bit of vertigo in the car, but I thought, you know, maybe it'll pass. Sometimes it passes when it's just a little bit but just like walking down the aisles in the thrift store and then like turning to go into the next aisle was so rough. It's just, it, it's just been really rough. And I of course can take my medicine and it's fine, but taking uh, my medication makes me just fall asleep and then I'll just be asleep for the day. So <laughs> it's just been really hard. And the thing that's the most challenging when I have vertigo when it comes to like filming and stuff is um, like moving around a lot. I can't really move around a lot without making myself really dizzy and then having to um, <laughs> Editing is just the worst when I have vertigo because I can't really look at my phone very much. Like I can't look down at it to be editing uh, and I can't do like a lot of scrolling and stuff like that. It just makes me so dizzy. Just so, so, so dizzy. So it's just been really difficult. There's so many things that I want to do that I just have to kind of wait and chill until this spell of vertigo goes away. And yeah, it has just been so crappy. I've been indulging in my favorite thing of all time, um, Twilight memes and just like watching Twilight content, which is just one of my favorite things. It's just so silly and funny and niche and all of the jokes just feel like inside jokes and it's just, it's very fun. I've been watching lots of Disney movies. I watched Encanto two or three times. I love that movie, it's so good. It makes me just like cry my eyes out. It's, it's just very nice. If you haven't watched it yet, watch it. It's so nice, just very, very nice movie to watch. Very beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous film. I also have another kitten. I don't remember if I showed her in the last video, but I, you know, we found a kitten at Yule School outside. The kids were just like running around chasing something and I jumped out of my car and saw that it was a freaking adorable kitten and I would love to go get her right now and show her to you. But like I said, movement is not what I wanna be doing at all. So <laughs> I do as much as possible when I'm not spitting with vertigo and when I am, I just have to chill out and lay on the couch. And that's just how it has been for, uh, you know, January. Katra is just being very much a nurse kitty. Although nurses don't put their butts in patients' faces. I don't know if you're aware of that, ma'am, but that's not a, a the thing that nurses do. It's not a practice that anyone does. Yeah, so that's basically been it. Relaxing, resting, making some things when I feel like I can, and then resting more. My husband has been making lots of soup for me, which is nice. Um, Yule is fine. He he was ill, pretty pretty ill for like two days, and then after that, pretty much back to kid normal, running around, screaming, twerking, whatever kids do. Um, he is vaccinated, so I think that really helped. And I'm vaccinated and boosted, and and I have not. I just haven't caught it. I have no idea how I have it, but I just haven't, which is amazing. It has just snowed incredibly outside so it's like a snow world out there i have so many beautiful vessels to make candles with Ooh, i went to this wonderful antique shop and i got all of these gorgeous gorgeous teacups that i cannot wait to work with oh, just so much that i can't wait to do and i just have to just wait and chill and if anyone is going through something similar which i know that people are you know as human beings you know sometimes 
we go through lots of illnesses. If you're someone with a chronic illness and you just have these spells where your illness is just doing the most, <laughs> it can be so disheartening. It can be so disheartening. It can make you feel like um, helpless. You know, you feel helpless and hopeless and like it's ever going to end, but it's going to end for sure. You know, you will have those days where you feel crappy and you will have those days where you feel better. <laughs> Just like looking around is making it so difficult. Um, and you will have those days when you're feeling better and it will pass. It will pass and you'll feel normal and you'll feel great and you'll be able to do those things that you've been waiting to do. But for a while, sometimes you just have to rest and, and let your body recuperate and, and heal and get back to normal. Because if you keep pushing yourself to the limit, you're never going to feel better because your body's going to have to catch up with you over and over and over and over again. And it seems like it's the best thing to do to like just get everything done and, and like work really hard and like play really hard and do everything you can do while you feel good. But then your body has to recuperate from doing all of that. And so it just extends the time that you have to be out of commission. Going through something similar, I feel you. If you're going through grief and hard times, I feel you too. This has been so difficult. Yule lost another tooth, like his front tooth, and it's so cute. And I keep wanting to like send pictures to my mom, you know, and say like, look at how cute Yule looks with his tooth being gone. And it makes me miss her so much. And it's just, it's, it has just been a very rough month. But I know that it will get better and the sun will come out and the snow will dry up <laughs> and my body will feel, you know, better. But for now, I just have to chill out and take things slowly and relax and just take care of myself. And I hope that you're taking care of yourself as well. And I will see you all when we are all feeling better and up to it. If you follow me on Instagram, I do still post stories there when I can and just talking about life and being normal, usually with me laying on the couch. And um, I appreciate all the Twilight memes and Twilight things that people send me because they're, they literally make my day. They're so great. I could spend the entire day just indulging in stupid Twilight content because it just cracks me up. But for now, I'm gonna peace out. I'm gonna take off my clothes put on some pajamas and lay on the couch and sip some soup and probably listen to my audiobook because even watching things sometimes can just be too much for my brain to handle because it just makes me think that I'm like experiencing the things that are happening on TV and I it's just awful so <laughs> I hope everyone else is having a better time than I am and I will see you all in the next video Mwah!